This is the Panasonic Premium Performance Shaver. Um, I went ahead and took everything out of the box here. Um, it looks like you can do a wet or a dry shave. Um, so yeah, it actually is kind of cool. There's the shaver itself. It comes with its own nifty little bag. Um, along with, you know, you got your cord to plug in and the instruction. And then there's also a little tube of oil it looks like. So I'm going to uh, get this charging for him and he will be back uh, to show you how this all works. Okay, this is me actually shaving with the uh, Panasonic model number ES-LV67 Razor. If you decide to look it up later, if you decide you like it. Um, I decided to only show a clip of me using the dry shave feature with this razor because I've been using it for about a week. And uh, I'm not a big fan of electric razors, so I've been trying to find one that actually works with me because I have really rough skin and really stiff hair it's hard to shave but uh this one actually worked great this is my first experience with the tin foil razor and uh i was pretty impressed i really like it i think i'm actually going to keep this one and just use it for when i don't feel like using a, a straight razor handle but uh anyways you see me shaving here the key with this one is to uh Make sure you pull your skin tight and you really want to press down pretty firmly with the razor to try to get the whole uh, surface of all the tin foils and everything against your skin and just kind of roll it across your skin against the grain. You want to make sure you go against the grain and press firmly and just slowly roll it across your skin and you want to just try to keep your skin tight. And I was really surprised if you do it right, like it says in the instructions, just like I'm telling you now you actually get a really really close shave so um, the only reason the reason I'm showing the just the dry shave feature is because I tried it with the wet shave but it's the type of razor that it's designed to where you really want to press against your skin and get some good friction against the grain to get that close shave and that's also why you want to kind of roll it along your skin kind of slow like you see me doing in the film when I tried that with the wet shave side of things it just kind of was too slippery and I couldn't press down hard enough and it was really awkward and sloppy and messy and I really don't recommend using this razor for the wet shave. It's just kind of a waste of time. If you're going to go with the wet shave, you might as well use a straight razor. <clears throat> but uh, there's not much else to say for it. Uh, it's definitely some good bang for your buck. So... Uh, like I said, it's a great razor. I'm going to keep it. I might even use it every day because it's just convenient when I don't feel like uh, using a, a wet razor. So this will definitely be my dry shave when I'm already dressed or something or in a hurry. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward the uh, rest of the video so you don't have to sit there and watch me shave. You kind of get the gist. So I'm going to jump online and give you some prices real quick and look at some of the reviews. Okay, I looked it up online here. If you just follow my mouse pointer, you just type in Panasonic ES-LV67. Um, it's actually Amazon's choice for an electric razor, cordless razor, wet, dry, whatever. Amazon's choice is usually pretty safe. If you're looking for a quality product, and obviously... It's cheaper on Amazon because it's only $170. Best Buy, it's $199. And even at Walmart, it's $199. Also, I didn't see any reviews on Walmart, but uh, Best Buy has 4.6 stars out of 1,015 reviews. That's pretty good. That's qu quite a bit of reviews. Amazon actually has about the same stars for the most part out of 2,480 reviews. That's quite a few reviews. I always like to use Amazon.com even if I'm not buying anything on there because of the reviews. I'll go look at those in a little bit. But if you look down here, it says it's got a high performance motor for a fast, powerful shave. It did work pretty fast. Um, you, like I said in the video, you do have to move a little slow across your skin, but it's still pretty fast. 
for an electric razor. Like I said, I'm not a fan, but this is definitely the best electric razor I've used to date. Um, advanced intelligent shave sensor senses bare densities. I didn't even know about that, but obviously that probably helps. Of why it's such a good razor. Yada yada. Wet dry operation. It says wet dry shaver lets you shave in the shower if you want. So I probably didn't even do it right with the shaving cream. Didn't talk about it at all in the instructions. I don't know why anybody want to shave in the shower with the uh, electric razor anyways. But anyways, if you want to buy this razor, in my opinion, the uh, wet option is definitely out. But that doesn't matter because it's such a good razor. Let's go look at the reviews real quick. Uh, anytime I look at a product on M or anything I want to buy, I look at the reviews on Amazon. It's always for top reviews, so it'll have the top critical reviews, so I always switch it to most recent. And then you can go down, it's getting five stars right away. Uh, here's a one star warranty uses third party services that has nothing to do with the razor performance. Cleaner apparatus didn't work, useless. Um, I have no idea what they're talking about. Uh, that doesn't have anything to do with the performance of the shaver. And then you're back to five stars. Top reviews. I don't really look at those. Uh, anyways, you, you get the gist. If you want to get a detailed review, you can go through here and look at the reviews. But uh, With any razor, you want to try to use it a little bit to make sure it works right. Uh, some of these people probably didn't even use it right. You really have to push down against your skin and keep your skin tight and just roll the whole shaving system across your skin and it really takes care of business if you do it right. So there you go. Oh my god, this fucking computer's driving me nuts.